The FBI took down seven men accused of hate crimes today, but the men in custody are not your usual suspects. They're Amish, which is why the crime they're accused of may seem a bit strange to most of us. ABC's Pierre Thomas explains. The Amish are known for being a peaceful community, shying away from modern technology. But of late, the Amish have been suffering through a violent crime spree. The weapon of choice, hair clippers. Today, the Justice Department charged seven Amish men of religiously motivated hate crimes, accusing them of attacking others in the sect and shaving off their hair. It may not sound horrific to you, but to the Amish, it's a serious offense. For them, it is really a prime public symbol of their uh, Amish faith and identity. It's very shameful to have your beard cut. The attacks allegedly stemmed from a dispute over Amish theology. Under federal law, attacking someone because of their religion is considered a hate crime. Nobody in this nation and in this community has the right to assault another individual based upon their religious beliefs. In addition to restraining men and women and cutting their hair, federal prosecutors say Mullet has forced members to sleep for days at a time in a chicken coop. He also, the FBI claims, has been counseling the married women in the Klan to cleanse them of the devil with acts of sexual intimacy. The Amish people were living in fear. Now with these arrests, if the FBI case is true, prayers may have been answered. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.